This video is not intended for minors. This video is intended for adults 18 and above. Anything you see in this video, do not attempt or do not try at home without adult supervision if you are under the age of 18. If you are over the age of 18, still use caution and common sense. Thank you. Yeah. I got these Tolson scissors because I need a good pair of scissors to open the uh, packages that I received. So the scissors are already open. So I'll take the scissors out and I'll open this here. What is it you say? No. Kidmo. Yeah. Okay, what? Staple gun slash 18 gauge Brad Nailer. Let me see that. I have an 18 gauge Brad Nailer already. Um, I got this one for the sole purpose of that it's a staple gun also. And it shoots the staples that are two of the two inches long. I have a staple gun already, but I don't shoot staples like that size. This is going to go up like that. And here it is. And it's a total. Darn it. A good product. Wait to cut this. It's like the, what's the heat gun total, right? Total heat gun. Same brand. It's a good brand. I'm going to cut this whole thing. It's kind of Away, and it's not that expensive too. It's affordable but really really heavy duty industrial product, right? So It's a total one-stop tool station. Two-in-one combo, Brad Neller, gauge 18. Two long combo Brad Nailer. It, you, it shoots up to 16, up to 40 millimeter staples, or same size Brad Nails, 40 millimeter Brad Nails also. It's like I said, I got it because it's a side that it shoots uh, large staples. And in here, you have the cardboard. <laughs> Fascinating. Wow. White piece of cardboard. Here is a whole bunch of connectors because they don't know what size they don't know what size of uh, air quick release that you've got, quick connector that you have. How many in there? Just a lot. Mine line. uses this one. You got one? That one that you so got all that these are, work. So all of these other ones here will be going in storage. All of these yeah, other ones the, will be going the one in storage. Because the one that, that, that I use is this one. Nope, that one. The one that I use is that one. So all the rest of these here will be going in storage. The one that I use is this. So I'll store the rest of these. And I've got to put a uh, thread around it. I'll do that later. And here is the... Oil. Free oil. And here's the add to my Allen wrench collection. <laughs> Allen wrench collections. Which is pretty big already. Here's the Earl. Well. Here is the staples. You can see how long the staples I are. I got free staples. Don't break them. I know. You can see how long the staples are. So it's really long staples. I got free staples. That's good. You can taste it. Oh, oh, there's some also. And here are the free. I think two inch. This is two inch. Yeah. And here are the free hey, brad nails. What? And here are the free brad nails. Sierra paint a peachy mess. Okay, that is turn now. And here are the free Brad nails. You got Brad nails. Ah, oh, you can shoot this it one. Shoots Brad, Brad nails. nails, small, medium, and large. These are the large. So yeah, that's good. So. Give you free nails and free Brad nails. 
It's a good deal with the price. Order. I still ordered some. It's only here are two two. And here are some. Uh, this is done fifty dollar. It's really cheap, right? Well, these eighteen gauge nailers are. And you got free. What's that lamp? Free goggles. Goggles. That's nice. That's a good deal. I put just a a gun. So you got free nails. How many nails in there? That they give. Always when you buy, when you receive goggles and stuff, so you can't tell by looking at it. A lot of people will buy these and they'll wear them and they'll say, yeah, they're okay, but they're a little bit foggy, but they're, they're fine. And they'll use them for like 50 years and then one day they'll see something on the corner. What's that? Because they forget to peel this off. Uh. They forget to peel that off. I was writing on a whiteboard one time and wondering why it wasn't erasing easy, covered in film. <laughs> well, this whiteboard's not erasing easy. Because I had that film on it too. The uh, the sandblasting hood I just bought. Same thing. It's got the, you, you can't see it. I mean, it's really on there. You can't see, you can't see this, this plastic. It is so good on there. But you gotta kinda scratch the corner a little bit to see what happens, because everything has got it. And here is the gun itself. And then you put what you're firing in here, these uh these here go over the shaft. I'm sure where you put the nails. Wait, let me see. See, the staples go over that shaft. Ah, there. Okay. Okay. The brad nails go not on this side. See, it's smooth. The brad nails go on this side of the track. Wait, on no, it. I can't reach you. See, go on the side of the track on it. Ah, like that. That's okay. Then you close that. Yeah, then you close this up. Okay. Oh, that's nope. easy, right? Yeah. Simple. And then I got Girls two. can do it. Huh? <laughs> Girls can do it. it feels good. It's got really some, light heavy. Got some weight to it. It's kind of heavy. Is there anything? Feels all right. Got a good Let me see. pain grip. Kind of sticky. Yeah, it's kind of right, heavy. Around three kilo like kilograms. This here, I won't put it all the way in. You want to put Teflon on this before you put it in here. That way they won't have no air release coming out. And later I'll taste it. When I taste it, I'll go ahead and I'll get the video back. I'll get the camera back and I'll taste it. And last but not least. It's the manual that you don't need. <laughs> they always say a manual, manual they don't need. It says watch out, don't do it. Warning. Wear glasses. Warning, if the following symptoms appears, knock it off. That's it. You have to wear bulletproof. If the one using it. I don't know if this has got a got an air thing on some of these. But this this one does. This one won't fire. This this is pressed down. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah, safety mechanism. The only way this will fire is if this is pressed down. Right. Yeah, that's yes. good. They got safety mechanism. I can't shoot you. But again. I don't know if I had. I've not used it yet, so I don't know if it has dry lock, meaning that if there's no nails or staples in it, it won't fire. I've got a Makita right now that has no dry lock. So if you're shooting brad nails in it, it won't shoot staples. If you're shooting brad nails in the Makita one, or, or even that other staple that I got that only shoots the small staples. If we shoot when the cows come home, let go of your piece of wood or whatever, it'll fall off. A sh it's going through the shooting process, but nothing's coming out because you run out of nails and don't even know it. It's got a little window in it so you can see the nails, but you get so into firing it, you don't pay attention to that. So hopefully, I'm hoping this one has dry lock on it. But I'll try it later on this evening sometime. So there it is. It's the total one stop full station, two in one combo, Brad Miller staple, and uh, it's good, it's got the window here, so you can tell if uh, you run out of staples, 
Okay. So you can tell if you're not running out of staples, see if you run out of staples or not. It's got a nice window here. Yeah, there's the long. Right? If these things last, and if there's nothing wrong with these when they're when they come out of the factory, these things last a long time. But the coil nailer that I have, because it's such a powerful gun, because it shoots uh, full head nails, you have to replace sometimes as much as once a year or once every every two years at least. I've replaced that damn seal in it. But uh, these guns like this that are not high yield. Guns, you don't have to worry about something like that happening. So you can get back. How many free? There's a lot of free nails in here. Can't find it. So you got two, four, you got six. Uh, staple nails, right? Staples. Where you go? Staples, not nails. Okay, staple. <laughs> you got six, still a lot. And that's it. And that's all the stuff. It's everything about it and the bread nails is how many two these staples are very good four, six. there's thin in here that's a good the good this these good. staples are very good at holding small pieces of wood together even larger pieces of wood and so on and the reason it holds better is because it, it curves over and down the other side you're getting two you're getting two points of entry Plus this curve, this U point up here, holding it together, so it, there's no way it can, it can slide back or pull loose. So that's why it's good to use staples. Not you don't use staples in everything. I mean, use common sense what to use a staple on. But uh, it's a lot of times you're going to need one and not have it. And I've looked for one of these staple guns here in the Philippines before, and it's it's no use. You can't find them. And I uh, finally, I finally found this one. And it's a good name brand also. So there you go. Total two and one combo. The one stop shop. Hope it's not blurry. Any time it tries to get blurry, just push that button again. Don't even let it refocus. Even it's running. Go ahead and try it. It's done now. It you give muscle. It, this camera give you muscle. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you're done with these, put them together, wind all this back up like that until the teeth are touching, open it back up, give it one more little turn, and then lock them together. I'll leave them sprawled over. Right now, plug in the tank and let it fill up with air and then we'll taste it. Now we take a little bit of this Earl. Of course, this is not the oil that comes with it. It's already got some. This is so empty because I was using it on a on a knife. Just put a couple of drops, about one, two drops. It's good enough. Put the lid back on, of course. Pick it back up. So I know it. Let the air loose and check the lock system. Thank you. 
crap? Are these these staples are long? I ordered some of the shorter staples, but these are the long ones, so it's going to be sticking out in the back. So who cares? Well, I'm going to put it like that so it won't. So we'll try it. We'll put this piece. Bring it over here. This wait, wait, now wait, now Put these two pieces together. Put this down. Fire. This down. Fire. What needle do you use? Do you staples? I staples. I think it off. Because it's a staple gun. I don't need to taste no nail. Okay. I got these because of the staples. And look how tight. Look how tight that is. If you use a brad nail, an 18, like that big brad nail, it won't be tight like that. It's tight like that because you've got two points of contact and this U, and this U part is holding that down in there. If you get a brad nail, brad, brad nail. Which, I'll, which I'll show you here in a second. If you get a brad nail in here, That it's a dry lock. You can tell it's a dry lock like it's still full. Right? Yeah. You get a brad nail. Hey, hurry up your cows. Keep yelling. And then do the same thing. Put it on the side and do the same thing. You can use this on an upholstery, right? Yeah. Okay, if you do the same thing with a brad nail, see it's strong, but can you get hold of it? Because it's short. It's strong, but see it wiggles. See, you got wiggle room in it. See, it wiggles. Oh, uh, yeah, right. It can come out, see, so pry it out. Try to pry this one like that. It's a brad nail. But if you got this one, then it's, it's a lot stronger. See, it wiggles, but it takes more. See, it takes more force. See, it takes more force to get it out. See, it's not that much thick. See, it takes a whole lot more force to get it out. Yeah, then, then the bread nails, right? Okay, that's good. See, like right here, you can see, like right here, the way this come out, because this here is holding that, that U shape of that, the U shape of that is holding that in. See? holds that wood in, so it can't escape. So that's the test of the staples. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Oh, there's also one other thing that I didn't show. I'll take these nails and stuff out of here a little bit later. One thing I forgot to show is this here. What's that? This is where the air comes out when you fire it. When you fire it, like this, air comes out. So you pull this up, and around, and you can angle the air as you want. It. So you're nailing like this, and the air is coming out in your face. Then you can turn it so the air won't come out in your face. Oh uh, yeah. But you don't want to force it like this. Pull it up and around, up and around. Some of these you just twist, but this one you pull up on it, turn it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and hope you come back and watch more videos. There'll be more unboxings of tools, things like that. More builds. A lot of other stuff going on on the channel. So I hope you like it. The products you see in this video are not sponsored. They're products that I've bought myself and used and found them to be likable. So I'm sharing them with you in case you want to buy the product and use it yourself. Thank you.